bridging the silos of supply chain information systems through a holistic maturity model. Global health supply chains are expanding and becoming more complex as they respond to changing patterns of commodity flows and demands for more accurate information in an increasingly digitized world. The growing complexity of supply chains means the information systems used to manage them must mature. As physical commodities move through the supply chain, information systems enable the flow of commodity data, ensuring that medicines are flowing from the manufacturer to the national or regional warehouses, to health facilities, and ultimately to end users. Weak information systems can hinder effective response to supply chain exceptions, such as stockouts and expirees, as well as efficient procurement and distribution of health commodities to end users. Poor operation of the supply chain information system can also hinder planning or end-to-end -end visibility. End-to-end -end visibility means knowing the current status of and the future need for every product in the supply chain. Traditional approaches to improving supply chain information management tend to have a narrow scope. This could mean focusing on one health program such as vaccines or specific segments of the supply chain such as warehousing. A broader holistic approach on the other hand enables informed decision making by government leaders, donors, implementing partners, and procurement agents to improve supply chain functionality. The USAID Supply Chain Information System Maturity Model, or SCISM, provides a useful framework to evaluate supply chain information systems holistically to help them keep pace with the rapidly expanding global supply network. SCISM can be used to assess the strengths and weaknesses of the supply chain information systems that countries use. SCISM capabilities have been organized based on the Supply Chain Operations Reference SCOR model and the American Productivity and Quality Center APQC Process Classification Framework. The capabilities have been categorized across five maturity levels to facilitate an incremental approach to implementations. SCISM can be complemented with other tools such as HIS Stages of Continuous Improvement and HIS Interoperability Maturity Toolkit to assess other HIS capabilities such as leadership, governance, workforce, and interoperability. The output of SCISM assessments can be used to develop progressive roadmaps for improving supply chain information systems. The improvement roadmaps can then feed into annual national strategic plans to ensure planned initiatives receive adequate investments in time and resources. This will help steer investments into the most needed areas. Savings from these efficiencies will free up funding to finance other critical areas within a resource-constrained public health sector. In Rwanda, the Ministry of Health used SCISM to assess the country's national supply chain information system. As a result, key activities have been initiated. These include implementation of a national product catalog and replacing the existing warehouse management system with an advanced supply chain management system using barcode scanning. In an increasingly complex global supply chain and digitized world, SCISM can help identify supply chain information system weaknesses and prioritize areas for improvement. This helps ensure the availability of high-quality data so people can more reliably receive the health commodities they need the most when they need them.